I think it's real important for us to realize that we've had massive changes since 1980. 45 years, technology enables people to move money, move assets so much more quickly, but also it allows people to transfer and communicate much more quickly as well. Those could be two big factors that could propel another squeeze in the price of silver. Could this happen in America? And could it happen with silver? Could we see silver prices? $40, $60, $100. This photograph shows Chinese citizens, 800,000 of them, showing up at a mall in China the day after the Lunar New Year to buy gold. But can it happen in the United States and with silver? I've listened to some of the old timers who were around in the United States in the late 70s, early 80s, when we had a fantastic run in the silver price. And you know what they say? They say back then, there were lines out the doors, at the local coin shops, down the block. Some people could not even get into the coin shops to either sell or buy their silver. But how does that relate to today and a potential for a massive silver squeeze here in the United States? Look, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not saying this will happen for sure. But if we consider a couple very interesting components to how things have changed in the United States since 1980, when silver hit $50 per ounce, to today, we could see that a squeeze could happen much more quickly and in a much more exaggerated fashion. And let's consider the fact that that $50 silver price in 1980 is the equivalent of over $160 per ounce measured in today's devalued, watered down dollars. But what's the big difference between then and now that could really propel the price much, much higher? I want you to think about something. Back in 1980, we didn't have any social media. We didn't have phones with apps where we could buy gold, buy silver instantaneously. So the word, the story about silver back in the late 70s, back in the 80s, it took longer to spread. And if you wanted to get your hands on some silver or some gold back then, you were forced to go physically, get in your car, drive to a coin shop, wait in a line just with the hope that you might be able to buy yourself some silver. And when we consider that right now, in modern times, things have changed significantly. Number one, it takes much, much less time for a story to spread. We have social media now, right? Remember, let's take a look back at what happened in, what, February 2021, the great silver squeeze the Reddit social media site that spread the word quickly and people were buying silver like never, ever before. Now, of course, that was tamped down, supposedly, by our friends at the big exchanges. But nonetheless, in a very short period of time, people woke up to the idea that silver is a great investment. And we had masses of people rushing in. Let's take a look back just one year ago. Uh, March, April of 2023, when we had the banking crisis in the United States. The news about that spread super quickly. The demand for metals, because people got scared, right? The demand for metals skyrocketed overnight. Remember, all the bullion dealers were sold out. All the wholesalers were sold out. Premiums on American Silver Eagles were like 100%. People were paying $52 for American Silver Eagles when the price of silver was probably, what, $24, $26, $28 per ounce? This can happen, and it can happen very, very quickly. So the next situation that comes onto the scene in the United States, some type of crisis, maybe a black swan event. We know there's a confluence of factors, right? A con contentious election, 
uh, the national debt, right? Potential for commercial real estate trouble in the banking sector, the banking sector in general being rather unhealthy right now. Who knows what it will be? But what we do know is that there's a growing appetite already right now for precious metals. And if something were to happen in the modern day today, the news will spread much more quickly. And more importantly, people can buy instantaneously. You don't have to jump in your in your station wagon and drive 15 miles to get to your local coin shop. People can line up virtually now online at the big online bullion dealers and buy the metal very quickly. Look, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just kind of pointing out the big picture of how things could unfold in the next few years at some point when people do start to wake up to the true benefits of owning silver and gold. And if you want to get your hands on some silver and gold, I want to say thank you to our channel sponsor, Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. Look, these videos aren't possible without the support of our sponsors. Pimbex is an online bullion dealer. As of the recording of this video, they do have plenty of silver and gold in stock. So if you're out there shopping around online for silver, gold, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex. I believe you'll find what I found. They have ultra competitive pricing, great selection, and their service, their reputation is outstanding. But you need to figure that out for yourself. It's going to be an interesting ride as we go through these next few years, guys. We could see massive increase in demand for gold and silver. Look at what's going on in China with gold right now. And we know that silver is also growing in popularity in places like China and India. And guys, we live in a world right now. A, we live in an environment where the world can dictate major changes in the prices of anything, and that includes silver and gold. I'd like to also say thank you to channel sponsor First Mining Gold. Hey, if you want to learn more about First Mining Gold, reach out to Paul Morris. I have his email address in the description of this video. He'd be happy to talk to you about the investment prospects at First Mining Gold, an exciting Canadian gold development company. And of course, our friends at Fortuna Silver. They're actually more of a gold mining company now. You can learn more about them at fortunasilver.com. Most importantly, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being part of Ron's Basement. I always look forward to you joining me. Take care, and I'll see you soon.